first, fast, accurate with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. Well, new developments today in a story that we've been following now for several months. It may become more difficult to get an abortion in St. Joseph County. The Indiana State Department of Health just denied a request from the Women's Pavilion in South Bend to renew its operating license. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is at the live desk right now. And Suzanne, you've been looking through these documents all day. Jennifer, all of this comes down to a judge's decision whether to renew the clinic's license. If not, this could mean women from St. Joseph County and the surrounding areas would have to travel much farther to receive an abortion and other procedures. I'm not pregnant. It can't happen to me, you know, and then I took tests and bam, I was pregnant. It's a day that this 22-year-old South Bend woman who wanted us to conceal her identity won't forget. I had a really close family member. She said, go with your gut feeling the second you read the test. And I did. She had an abortion from Dr. George Clotford, the physician at the Women's Pavilion in South Bend. The state recently filed a complaint against the clinic, citing 27 deficiencies regarding consent laws, procedure, and keeping a patient register. That same day the complaint was filed, the Women's Pavilion asked the state to renew its operating license. But in these documents, the Department of Health denied that request, saying the deficiencies provide further evidence of the clinic's inability to comply with and follow existing state law, saying that behavior is an intentional and willful act leaving the clinic with an uncertain future. This could mean women in our area would have to travel quite a distance to receive abortions and other procedures. According to the Department of Health, the state has clinics in Bloomington, Indianapolis, Lafayette, South Bend, and Merrillville. If South Bend's closed, the closest would be in Merrillville, 70 miles away, or out of state in Chicago or Kalamazoo. And some women think traveling may be a barrier to a need in our counties. This community, we need this care. We have the right to have this care. It's worth noting there are other care facilities that perform abortions, but the ones we told you about are freestanding surgical abortion centers. A judge will decide whether to review the operating license at South Bend's clinic during hearings set for November. In the meantime, Dr. Klopfer is in a battle of his own. Jennifer, he has a hearing in front of the medical licensing board set for December. All right, thank you very much.